Tonight is amazing. Uh, I got a few things I want to say. I want to acknowledge some people. Phil, uh, I just want to thank you for being a friend and a mentor for over 30 years. Uh, Phil has been great. When I was in his office in 1984, it was me and Michael Jordan. And he has this right-hand man with him tonight, Howard White, who I love like a father. He's been a mentor and a father for over 30 years. So I want to thank Phil and Howard, and please give them a round of applause. I do want to admit I was wrong about one thing. I told him, I says, I don't think Michael Jordan can really play. <laughs> uh, uh, like, this, this guy's going to be a flash in the pan. I messed up on that with just a tad bit. Every time I see this person, I want to acknowledge them because he was the first black player at Auburn. He's been a friend for a long time, Tom Gossip. Uh, thank you. you know, every time I see him, he's got the most amazing smile. And I always just want to say thank you. Thank you. And I want to say this tonight. I'm getting an award with Congressman Lewis. Under no circumstances am I comparing myself to him. <laughs> I just want to say to him, I appreciate everything he's did for me, for society, uh, and a, a good friend of mine, Joe Morgan, really good friend, says, I said, what did you say when you met Jackie Robinson? He says, I just told him thank you. And that's all you can do. And I want to say this to you, Congressman. Thank you for everything you've done for me. And y'all met my family, my wife and my daughter. Thank y'all for, it's, it's not easy, but it's, it's but thank y'all. Uh, I want to thank the Auburn family. I knew Jay, Jay played football at Auburn when I was there. So I've known him forever. And he's always been a terrific guy. And I'm happy about his success and Tim. And I'm really excited about Coach Pearl, what he's doing for the program. I think our program is in great hands. So give my Auburn family a round of applause. And I got my, my TV family. I am so lucky and blessed. First of all, I want to say I got two more people. I apologize. There's another guy here who's been a friend and a mentor for the last few years. He's from Birmingham. Steve Spencer. Steve, raise your hand. I want to thank my Turner family. I work for the best company in the world. I work for the best company in the world. I tell them when I took the job, I says, there's certain things that are important for me that I need to talk about. I know it's gonna be bad, it's gonna be a storm. I can handle it, can y'all handle it? I says, I'm not gonna fight every day because I just, I don't work my business like that. I said, but if something important and significant I'm gonna stand up and shout. I said, but and it's gonna be hell raining down on us. <laughs> they says, we'll let you do what you want to do. And my Turner family, just amazing people. So please give them a round of applause. <laughs> and these are the people over here who run my financial life. We've been together for 30 years. 
my agent, Mark, my financial guy, Glenn, and his son. Uh, we got H.B. Lee, who's my accountant. We got a good friend, Martha Corman. They're all Auburn people. Uh, they are amazing people. I've been one of them for over 30 years. Uh, my TV partner, uh, Javier, is over here. My good friend, my business partner, uh, uh, another business partner is uh, Martha Corman. She was my mom's best friend. She was great when my mom was passing away. When my mom was, Passing away over the summer. She was great. Thank you. But, but um, I want to thank everybody as part of the Auburn family. As I have traveled the world, one of the things that gives me great pride and joy is people scream War Eagle. I mean, all the time. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's really cool. I mean, when I travel the states, when I travel the country, a lot of people yell different. They yell that at me. It means a great deal. <laughs> it does. I do. I tell people every time I go to Auburn, it's really cool. But one of the great things in my life is when I travel the country. Is random strangers just yell "War you got you." It's pretty cool. So. Like I say, man, I'm just honored. I'm a little kid from Leeds, Alabama, who's had an amazing life. I'm 52. I can't believe I'm at the UN. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't think when you're growing up with a single mom who's a maid, with brothers, you're not thinking like 30 years later you're going to be at the UN. But this is pretty cool. I thank Auburn for this. I've had an amazing, amazing life. I've exceeded all my expectations. I want to explain one other thing to y'all, too. Uh, that table right there, I hate them. <laughs> That's my TNT family. I got a commercial, a promo coming out for the Final Four. So the other, last week, I had to sing for hours. Um, it's going to be a really funny spot, I might add, because I don't like to brag about myself, but I think I'm the best karaoke singer in the world. <laughs> I do. I, I do. I think I'm by far and away. I only sing Frank Sinatra, <laughs> but they made me sing some other stuff last week, and it ru ruined my voice. <laughs> so I hate that table right now. But I think it's going to be a really funny spot when it debuts. It's cute and funny, but listen, uh, I really want to thank everybody. When you're successful, it's not just you. There are a lot of people. There are a lot of people who help you be successful. And it's not easy. It's not easy on them. But like I say, I just wanted to acknowledge all the people who have helped me become successful in the last 52 years. Thank you.